Hello, my name is Maria Alzina, one of the authors of this paper titled A Student's Performance and Academic Success Study Using Self-Directed Based Learning Methodology. The aim of this study is to identify what kind of activities lead to the learning outcomes simulation in order to select the ones that are related to the student, student's academic success, thus making possible to identify the relationship between a student activity and academic success in this methodology. In this paper, we focus on the student learning process and the measurement of this learning as it is defined in this methodology. Thus, if we want to identify if the student follows the learning path designed, we need to know if the learner solves the tasks provided, if he accesses the different resources for the task resolution, and if he completes the self-assessment test. Regarding to the academic success, we measure the simulation of the learning outcomes based on the evaluation activities grade ponderation. In summary, we have four indicators. We have collected these indicators in 11 courses from two programs, Master in Supply Chain Management Technology and the Master in Project Management. To analyze the data, we have applied association rule data mining because it allows discovering patterns in the data set. The result is a set of association rules, patterns, detected in the data with the relationship description found, the support, and the confidence. The result is a huge set of association rules. For this study, we select the rules with a confidence above 80%, and within this, the ones that implies to our academic success indicator. With this selected set of association rules, we discuss the different patterns observed in each case of academic success, considered as past or not past, and focusing on each of the items of the learning path. In addition, we look at the same rules grouped by program to identify if the students change their focus depending on the course. Up to this point, we can conclude that students that don't work on the proposed teaching resources, the tasks, and or the self-assessment test don't pass the course. Students who work on at least one of each of these learning items designed pass the course. We cannot say whether the academic success is better in those students who followed the proposed path, although we observed a relationship between the tasks completion and the resources completion and a higher confidence in the association rules focused on the tasks. With the aim of achieving our objectives, um, we are working in the follow-up of this study. This follow-up consists in use clustering tools for the data analysis and include information of a student's personality traits.